Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So we are back with another vlog. This is so exciting. We've gone from no vlogs for like the past nearly two years and suddenly I'm doing my second London vlog in just a few weeks. This is so exciting but this this vlog in particular is beyond exciting because as you can see from the title today I am going to London to see Heather's the musical on the West End. So this is exciting for several different reasons. So this isn't my first time in London since the pandemic began. I went to London a couple weeks ago for a cosplay meetup. However, this is my first kind of proper London visit since the pandemic because of the meetup, I literally was just at Hyde Park the entire time. Whereas this time I'm actually gonna be walking around London. So it's my first proper, proper visit to London since the first lockdown began. Secondly, this is my first time going to a professional production of live theater since nearly two years ago. It has been too, too long. I don't even know what the last West End show was that I saw. It's been a very long time since I saw a professional musical production. It's been even longer since I saw a production in London. And finally, we are going back to see a show. And then thirdly, we're not just seeing any show, we are seeing Heathers. So if you've seen any of my previous Heather vlogs, I think there's two on my YouTube channel. You will know how much I adore this musical. I went to see it for the first time when it was off West End at the other palace. Unfortunately, I lost that vlog footage, so it's not on my channel. But so I first saw it off West End and I only went because Carrie Hope Fletcher was in it. I ended up falling in love with the musical itself when it transitioned to the West End. I was able to go and see it twice on the West End before it closed. I was heartbroken when it closed. I was so sad when it closed, but now they have brought it back and it's currently on at the Royal Haymarket again on the West End. It's an entirely new cast with the exception of Jodie who's playing Heather Chandler again, which is so, so exciting. I'm so excited to see Jodie again. I'm so excited to see this new cast. I really do truly love this musical. And so to get to go and see it again, is just it's so it's so good it feels so good to be going back to London for a theatre show on the West End this was my normal back before the pandemic started traveling to London to see shows I did it so much and to have not been able to do it for so long now it's been heartbreaking so this really does mean a lot this is going to be the one and only time I'm able to see Heather's on the West End because this is actually closing week Heather's closes on Saturday it is currently Wednesday it has it was only like a two month run I think I wasn't able to go sooner due to work and then I found out the other day that this was the last week before it closed and I was like oh my god I need to go see it of course the issue being now that I no longer live at university and I'm living back home with my parents it is significantly longer for me to travel to London and the trains don't run us late home meaning that I can't go to evening shows unless I want to stay overnight and I cannot afford to keep staying overnight in London so I'd only be able to go to a matinee show and so I found out this was the last week and I found out that the matinee Matinees were on the Wednesday and the Saturday as normal for a West End show. The Saturday was too expensive and nearly sold out. So really my only chance was the Wednesday. So I go to work on Sunday. And so I see my manager and I'm like, could you by any chance give me Wednesday off? And he was like, I'll have to look into it, but I'll get back to you. I go back to work on the Monday and he confirms that he managed to get me the Wednesday off. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. I finish my shift. I get in my car and I book a ticket to Heather's straight away. So yeah, we are, we're going to London. I'm so excited. I'm going by myself. We are traveling up and getting the half nine train. I won't get there until like half 12. That's how long it takes me to get to London now. It's it's painful, it truly is painful. So I won't get there till half 12. I'll have lunch. I'll probably go to a couple shops. My main aim is to go to Sock Lab. If I get time, I'll go to the Forbidden Planet. And then the show is at three o'clock at the Royal Haymarket. It's a new cast of Heathers. I am beyond excited. This is gonna be so good. I am kitted out ready. I've got my Heathers top on, which I bought from the original Heathers production in London. And I'm wearing, of course, my blue Veronica blazer and I've got a blue scrunchie in. So yeah, let's go to London, shall we? We made it to London. Everyone who's seen my previous vlogs, you can guess where I'm gonna go for lunch. <laughs> I might stop into Oseo on the way, just cause why not? Ah, 
we're home guys <laughs> Cursed Child has just started um, rehearsals again. They open next month and I have tickets to opening night. I'm so excited. So yeah, we'll be back here in a month's time. McDonald's has been eaten. I still got a bunch of time until the show. So I'm gonna head over to Soho Square to go to Soccer Lab, even though I'm meant to be on an album collecting van, but you know, oh, might as well. I'm limited to like one or two albums, if any at all. We'll see what happens. This is new, they're playing Itzy. <laughs> Apparently my uh, collecting ban has ended because <laughs> I spent over 100 quid. <laughs> I only got three things. Soccer club is pretty expensive to be fair. <sighs> oh dear. Well, we're going to the Forbidden Planet now, which is probably going to be even worse, so... Forbidden Planet was actually pretty disappointing. They didn't have any merch for any of the animes I've watched apart from manga. The one in Southampton had way more than that and that one's half the size. I did buy manga though. I'm not meant to be a manga collector but now heading to the theatre because it's nearly showtime. I've spotted a world NTT so I'm gonna go check that out. I think it's Nature Republic. Oh, is it too young? Oh my god, Mark. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> the Nature Republic store completely by accident. I was walking down the street and I suddenly made eye contact with Jaehyun in the window and was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I know who that is. So I went in and had a look at the standees and now I'm going to the theater. <laughs> seeing that this week, seeing this today, okay. Last time I came to see her this year, I was sat basically in this exact same seat, but up there in the upper circle. So I basically was in this pretty much the exact same seat, just the section above. This view is incredible though, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I need to run to the train now. I'll probably like talk about what I thought of the show in the outro, but like that was, oh, it's good to be back in theater. It's so good to be back in the theater. Oh, I've missed it. <laughs> and I've missed that musical. That was incredible. <laughs> the worst thing is due to the pandemic, obviously still ongoing, stage door isn't a thing. And it feels so wrong not going to stage door. I just want to be able to meet the cast and tell them how amazing they were. It just feels wrong not stage dooring. I don't like it. Yo, I'm not back home yet. I've gotten back to the train station, but it's now a 20 minute drive home. I'm gonna blast Heathers on the way and sing my little heart out because I've missed this musical so much. Just wanna say this cast were like insane, especially when it came to vocals. Like the vocals of literally every single person in this cast were insane. They were like hitting notes higher than the original recordings of Heathers and stuff. Like they were going up and beyond the original score of the musical. They were doing extra riffs. They were doing like everything. It was so crazy. The number of times someone would hit a note or do a riff and I'd be there like, oh, wait a minute. It happened so much, this whole cast. The talent was crazy. It was so good. They were incredible. I will explain in the outro. I'm just gonna put this in here. I need to tell you guys. I need to tell you guys about Shine a Light because it was the funniest thing. Shine a Light, someone in the audience gets picked out. The guy who was picked on in this show was a guy in the front row who was asleep literally asleep that's all i'll say for now i'll give you a rundown of what happened in the outro but yeah that was incredible i've missed live theater i've missed heathers that was so much fun it was a good day i don't know how often i'm going to be able to do theater vlogs now because i live so much further away from you from london like today was six hours of traveling just to get there and back so that takes up most of the day and i have to do matinee shows because if i do an evening show i have to stay overnight and i can't afford to do that so i am kind of limited at the moment as to how often I can go and see shows which is a shame because there's so many in London I'd want to see right now but I have to limit myself because it's just such a hassle <laughs> I live too far away now the downside to graduating yeah that's that's annoying but I'm glad I managed to see Heather's before it closed okay let's drive home it's like nearly 10 p.m and I need to go home and shower and I start work at eight o'clock tomorrow morning so I'm gonna be tired but yeah let's go yeah we made it to the outro just ignore the fact that it took so long that my hair's now a different color we'll pretend i'm filming it right after i saw heathers that is the end of this vlog heathers was amazing i will definitely quickly tell you the story of steve right now because <laughs> For those of you who don't know, during the number of Shiner Lights, which is in Act 2 of Heathers, there is a section of that song where Miss Fleming, the teacher in Heathers, calls upon someone in the audience, referring to them as Steve, and then talks to them about an affair that they had. And this is a little improvised section, because there's the set line of Steve, I'm ending our affair, and then after that, Miss Fleming can improvise and say whatever she wants she also gets to choose who she picks upon and then the rest of the cast up on stage because the whole ensemble are in this number in fact i'm pretty certain like basically the whole cast are in this number they surround miss fleming on stage and all shine torches on this person in the audience jd has a light and he shines that light on the person in the audience as well and just all the attention is put on this one person and for the manny show that i was at there was a guy in the front row who was fast asleep literally asleep in the middle of the show and so miss fleming made this guy steve and was like steve i'm ending our affair because you are fast asleep in the audience she fully called him out said that he was asleep and went on to improvise the longest section i have ever seen out of all the times i've seen heathers the steve section has never been that long before she improvised this massive chunk of dialogue to do with bingo night and playing with Steve and it got a little, you know, it was a pretty suggestive piece of improv and she fully 
called this guy out for sleeping and then said this stuff referring to him and it was the funniest thing because he was fast asleep he was fast asleep completely oblivious to this happening and the cast on stage were cracking up they were laughing mr fleming kept laughing the audience were oh my god it was so so funny how this guy was fast asleep especially when he's in the front row like how how can you fall asleep during heathers but he he got called out for it although he may not know that he got called out for it but he got called out for it it was it was so funny it was it was the highlight of the show it was the funniest thing and then the cast were cracking up for the rest of the song and they all kept looking at him to see if he was still asleep and stuff it was so funny but it's like moments that like that that make theater so special and especially since this was my first time back in a theater since the pandemic it just it was such an amazing experience the show was so good i was very obsessed with heathers after i saw it like i ended up listening to the soundtrack on repeat for a couple weeks afterwards because i just love heathers a lot and it brought back all my love for the musical but i've already said like what i thought of the cast their vocals were mm, chef's kiss they were absolutely incredible and i could go on forever and ever about how amazing this cast were they were so good i'm so glad i got to see them before it closed it was really sad when it closed i've seen videos of the cut and cool from the closing performance it was very emotional but yeah that was my trip to see the new west ed cast of heathers it is no longer going on but heathers is currently touring the uk unfortunately it's not coming anywhere near me like it's hardly coming anywhere in the south beyond london and i live at the south south like the very bottom of the country so it's not coming anywhere near me however i am going to be going to see it when it is in london so the touring production is going to be in wimbledon at the start of november and i've got tickets to go and see that with a couple of my uh, former course mates from uni who i also lived with so i'm going to be seeing heathers again which is very exciting with a completely new cast again this time i'm so excited to see it i will definitely try and vlog it I'm going to a concert the day before and I don't know whether I'll combine the two days or do two separate vlogs I'll have to see what happens point is there's gonna be another Heather's vlog on my channel at some point this week I'm going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child because that's reopening and then the week after I'm going to London Comic Con as you can see from all the <laughs> mess on my floor from wig styling and stuff trying to get all my cosplays ready in time so there's gonna be a lot of vlogs but that was the vlog to see Heather's on the West End it was so so good the cast were amazing amazing the show is amazing as always i love this musical so much and i just beg that one day they do a production where they gender bend jd and then i can play jd because if that ain't a dream role i don't know what it is <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video which will probably end up being the cursed child vlog if i don't do any videos before that all right goodbye